Good morning. I'm Chuck Woodruff. I'm a geologist and I've been in Austin for more than 50 years. I feel amazingly fortunate to work in, in this area. I'm standing right now near the crest of Mount Bunnell, which overlooks the Balcones Escarpment, which is a major geologic break in the land here that separates two of the grand geographic provinces of North America. The Great Plains stretches west of here and the Gulf Coastal Plain is extended east. And we're right on the boundary. This is also the boundary, the beginning of the American West, where you have arable land, you have farmland on the Blackland Prairies out here to the east, and you have range land uh, raising animals out here to the west. It's, it's not farmland anymore, it's ranch land. Right here, we're overlooking the Mount Bunnell Fault, which is the main line of displacement in the Balcones Fault Zone. In Austin, it has a displacement of about 600 feet here, and it runs northeast, southwest. We're looking southwest here across the lake, across that little meander bend, and onto land again near that uh, blocky brick building, which is the intake for the Ulrich Water Treatment Plant. The uh, fault has displaced the more ancient lower Cretaceous rocks here up against the down faulted younger rocks. And that fault is responsible for the creation of the Balcones Escarpment. One of the attributes of the Balcones Escarpment is that it's a significant weather maker. It's the first significant topographic rise inland from the Gulf of Mexico so these unstable water-laden air masses move inland from the Gulf and hit the escarpment where the topography causes the air mass to rise and become more unstable and these incredible rainfall events occur. The Balcones Escarpment region has been noted as the uh, locus of greatest flood producing storms in the lower 48 states. And so a danger exists, it's a climatic hazard. Uh, here we are looking west of the escarpment, looking towards the remnants of the Edwards Plateau and the hill country. The plateau stands up as a flat, flat horizon. That's the Jollyville Plateau, which is an outlier of the more continuous Edwards Plateau. Similarly, across the lake here, across the Colorado River, Lake Austin, you have these caps of hills that those transmission towers are standing on. And those two are remnant pieces of the Jollyville Plateau, the Edwards Plateau, that has been cut away by surface erosion. And you have these steep, high gradient streams coming down to the lake. And those two are sites of danger from flash flooding during these uh, incredibly large rainfall events.